Embodiment rituals as a spiritual technique of connecting with Goddess Divinity and subsequent effects on health and well-being. By Paula Marie Staunton Who is the Goddess? The Goddess is the universal female and procreative pantheistic aspect of nature and the soul. The Goddess is a maternal space or receptacle of becoming a process and a metaphor. The Goddess can also be, be perceived as a personal loving and pantheistic deity. The simplified version of Goddess expressed in the Greek tradition of a perfect and sexualized woman is an example of patriarchal expropriation of a potentially empowering female concept. The Goddess is known by many names and faces, is from many traditions and religious backgrounds. The spiritual ideas of the Goddess do not have to oppose any individual's religious background. The ideas of Goddess philosophy are gaining popularity in many areas of life, including ecology, feminism, holistic health, politics, even business and pop music videos. Many are realising that in numerous respects, the ideas of the current social system are participating in harmful events. There is no book, rules, hierarchies or supreme leaders in this philosophy. How does an interest or practice in goddess philosophy cause women in their everyday lives to negotiate, revalue and subvert the social constructions of gender and embodiment and visualising of the divine feminine? Being a, go a goddess becomes a way of being in the world, and in particular, a way of being female without reference to male norms of femaleness. The spirit in the, in the physical as well as the metaphysical, the focus on women's bodies and processes as being divine, has a positive effect on the confidence and self-esteem of those who practice goddess philosophy. The idea that individual act actions can affect larger concerns are an important aspect of this philosophy. Since the beginning of time, goddess have been associated with creation, love, nurture, nature, fertility, life, death, the earth and other bodies in the solar system. The goddesses have also been used to explain and symbolise the mysterious non-physical dimensions of reality. Feminine spirituality can be expressed through positive relationships with all elements of our communities, creativity, dance, ceremony, communing with and respecting nature, as well as understanding our own light and divinity. Goddess spirituality aims to bring back to humanity the receptive qualities of the feminine. Potentials such as compassion, healing, awareness of the collective, nurturing impulses, emotional stability and personal responsibility come under the aegis of goddess influence. Areas of research In my research I will look at how dance, ritual, creative and, and other embodied techniques can be a form of healing, worship and prayer and investigate how these methods have impacted the lives of those who practice them. Co-researchers. These will be recruited from my friends, students and, students and from my online networks. My dance classes are openly run with goddess philosophy in mind. Research methods. The research could be collated in line with her heuristic inquiry principles. As most of the study participants will be women, it is important to find research methods rooted in a high regard for the feminine principle. This approach also contains an integral respect for the involvement of those that are part of the study. The heuristic process involves getting inside the research question and becoming one with the outcome of the research, which will be interpreted in terms of my own knowledge and experience. Placed in the context of my own internal frame of reference. It starts with the premise that human beings can never be completely objective. This feels ethical and realistic to me as I myself am a dancer and goddess person and will be influenced by my understanding of this type of body-centered awareness. Therefore, my story is an essential part of the research itself. 
I will also use ideas from feminist research which does not claim neutrality in the research process. It acknowledges that all research is coloured by the ideological lens of the researcher. The assumption with this type of research is that everything is completely subjective, especially when it comes to looking at women. It is important for the voice of the other person to be clearly heard. I'm aware that cultural norms and values predispose people to experience things in different ways. My research motivation is to provide something of use rather than purely objectivist. I would hope that those involved in the research would learn from and enjoy the experience. I would very much like the research to be utilised from a therapeutic and well-being perspective. My desire is to put into an academic framework an area which for years has been my passion, my occupation and source of personal healing and empowerment. My personal interest and background. My interest in these subjects began in my childhood. Middle Eastern culture has always been interesting to me. I loved the goddess Isis since I came across it in school at about age seven. I am from a family of professional dancers and attended dance school since the age of five. I have done various dance styles but Middle Eastern dance really resonated with me. I instantly linked my interest in goddess spirituality with Middle Eastern dance. I'm sure not everyone makes this connection but I did and I know others who feel the same. I have taught dance and conducted goddess workshops and retreats for about 15 years. I have seen many healings and transformations in this time and observed changes in myself too. I consistently have seen mental and physical maladies clear up when people take up dance with feminine spirituality. Ritual Goddess is called into a member of the group who then embodies or carries the deity for the rituals, ritual, ceremony or physical process. Often consciousness changing techniques are used. One purpose of embodiment rituals is to enact the goddess and in the process to rethink the meanings of goddess and the self. The body of the earth is intertwined with the needs and preservation of the physical and the spiritual body. The general focus in goddess ideology is on women's revision gender identity that is modelled and supported by their spirituality. Often there is an integration of spiritual and political ideologies. Saudas in 1983 proposed the therapeutic process in ritual healing should be analysed in terms of participants' predispositions, their experience of power empowerment and their experience of transformation. I would like to, to develop research strategies based on these criteria. Dance is an expression of emotionality, a factor regarded as valid in this kind of re research. Oakley 81 stresses the value of in-depth qualitative interview for feminist research and this will be one of the techniques I will use. Gender theorists such as Judith Butler deconstruct the idea that gender is fixed. Butler argues that the body itself is a construction as we are a myriad of bodies that constitute the domain of gendered subjects. Meredith Maguire argues the body is part of the grounding of our human experience in reality. The lived-in body is our vehicle for perceiving and interpreting our world and such is part of our self-identity. Cultural and historical influences have played a role in our relationship to our body as a whole. The notion of a separate body occurred in Greek times, resulting in an elevated abstract cognitive intelligence. Christianity added to the separation with the belief that the body was a repository of sin. Dance, which was practiced as a form of devotion and connection to spirit, came to be viewed with suspicion and was prohibited. Cartesian ideas of mind-body separateness have contributed to the human disconnect we see today. Goddess philosophy can and is being resurrected to suit the technological advances of this age, as this spirit can exist within any technological or social context. The world is embarrassed in favour of so-called masculine traits, and this is why a feminine spirituality is needed now to address the balance, not to act as a superior alternative. The dualism that exists within ourself, of self and other, the great I that lives within our skin, disconnected from the universe and web of illusion, 
is a spell that must be broken. The goddess in its essence represents the whole to which we must connect. The future must involve a stripping away of the illusions of Cartesian dualism, the distinction between nature and culture, organic and machine, out there, in here, mind and body, animal and human, god and goddess, will not be viewed as separate realms, rather as points on an eternal continuum.